G'day, this is a quick showing of how to install Flutter and Chrome and the set up the Android pack so that Flutter can see it and everything works. Oh, as well as Mac OS X CocoaPods. So I'm just going into the Flutter website here <coughs> and then I'm going to open up Terminal and copy and paste, uh, get my so directory ready. In my case, I'm going to use the directory workspace. Um, so just in my home directory, I just did a make dir workspace. You could use development, you could put anything you want in there. It's all good. So I'm now going to download the Flutter development kit. It won't take long. That's going <coughs> to, Mac OS X is going to automatically unzip that into a folder. And so I can now drag that into my workspace or development folder that I've created. I'm just going to make a shortcut for that so I can get to it easy next time. Okay, we've got my Flutter. So now that I'm in there, I want to do Flutter Doctor to make sure that everything is set up. Oh, but I also want to set up the path so that that's going to work um, easily next time. So you see I was just playing around with that. So in my case, I'm going to add it to my ZSH profile, Z profile, which is um, so users, my name, workspace, flutter bin. And just forgot to put the path variable. So this is appending the path, appending to the existing path variable. So there's one already there. And so I'm going to append um, my uh, folder, new folder that I wanted the search path to the existing one. save that. You can see now it's included, it's appended to the end. So I close my existing session down, so I start on a new one because that now has the path correctly set up. So I go back into my development environment, run my Flutter Doctor. This will take a little while or go through and make sure it can find all the libraries and services that Flutter needs in order to work. Summary is coming up. So you see there's a few things that I need to install. Uh, one being Chrome. That's an easy fix. This is a new laptop, so I'm going to install Chrome. While that's downloading, I also need to install CocoaPods. Uh, and also fix up Android development environment. Okay, so Chrome's easy, just drag it into your applications folder. Done. You would clean that up. Next step, I'm going to do CocoaPods. So it had a link here for a guide, but notice it says sudo gem install CocoaPods. That won't work. Now you can see here I got some errors. And DRB not being the right version, Ruby not being the right version. So what we need to install is we need to use brew install CocoaPods. Don't use the Ruby gem one, install the brew. And I've got an error here about the an existing file already exists. And that's probably because I did the uh, install using the Ruby. And so here I'm just going to tell brew that yes, it's okay to overwrite this. Okay, so I've got my CocoaPods installed correctly now. I can run Flutter Doctor again. So in theory, Chrome should be now fixed up and CocoaPods should be fixed up. Yep. Done. Now, Android. We need to download the SDK tools. So just ignore that. I've got to run that after I install the SDK tools. So I'm going to go across to uh, the website, but I'm also going to go across to the Android Studio. And note here it says to set up some environmental variables. I'm not sure if it actually needed. Um, as it was on the address the URL provided, I went through and added them in just to be sure. So 
there's a, a three environment variables and why the the reasons for them. I was just reading through to make sure it was what I needed to do. So I'm just going to check the SDK location. I'm going to Project Properties, SDK Location, and you can see it there. It'll be different on your computer. So that you are the address I had in that previous screen. I'm just copying and pasting here. And from there I'm going to set up the paths that it had on that web page. Again, not sure if this is actually needed for uh, installing Flutter. Um, but just being careful. So I'm now going to add the Android SDK locations to my path. This won't actually work yet, as I found out, because I need to install the Android SDK command line tools. Okay, we're done there. Confirm the path is definitely in there correctly. So now I'm happy with that. I can close the previous work window and move forward. Okay, we're on Flutter Doctor. So it's still showing that the SDK manager is missing. As I found, found out, I do need to manually install that. Even though I've installed um, the Android SDK software, the SDK tools do need to be installed manually or selected. I went in there just to confirm that the folder I'm looking for is not showing up there. Thinking about it, and then realizing I've got to install it. So I go to Tools, SDK Manager, click on SDK Tools, and in there I need to tick the Android SDK command line tools, and apply. Go and do some installs. That doesn't take too long. Finish. That should all now be installed. And I've got some additional folders there now. Command line tools, latest bin. I was expecting a bin to actually appear there as per the path, but it hasn't. So that might be something I need to fix up later. Okay, so now I probably need to do the Flutter Doctor. It's going to hopefully now see. Yep, it's confirmed. But there is some licenses that I need to confirm. I just copy and pasted that wrong there, so I'm just going to do it again. Uh, four licenses. Yes, yes, I read through that. Yes, I agree to that. Do I have a choice? No. Done. No issues found. We now have Flutter installed with Android, with Cocoa Pods for Mac OS X building, and with Chrome for web building. We are complete. And close everything down.